Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome to The Long Journey Home. Brought to us by Daedalic Studio West, the developer, and Daedalic Entertainment publishing it. This game is going to be a new mini-series on my channel. I'm not sure how many episodes this game is going to be as I understand it. It is rather a short playthrough um, with a lot of replay value, although I don't know how many, how many episodes it's going to be. It's not going to be a long series, but this game is quite a few different types of genres kind of rolled into one. It's got some RPG elements, some strategy and simulation elements, where basically you are trying to get four stranded space pioneers back home to Earth. Now, I've done very little in the way of watching anything about this game, as I understand that a big part of this game is the exploration and discovery. So please, if you've seen it, you know, uh, hints or advice are welcome, but no spoilers, please. I'm not sure how exactly that would work in a game like this that's procedural, but just throwing it out there. Let's get started with it. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect, so let's just, let's jump to it. Okay, so we've got to pick our crew. Choose four crew members. Okay. Astronaut. Archaeologist, hmm, test pilot, engineer. So as I understand it, the individual items that they can bring are very important. Pet plant. Huh. Pills, theoretical physicist. Laptop for blogging. Salvage kit. That seems important. Ugh. I don't know very I know very little about this. Distress beacon. Critter repellent. Um, let's go with Mmm. I hate to be all practical. Let's go with the major lander repair. We're gonna take Malcolm Winters, the test pilot. Test pilot Malcolm Winters is on loan to us from the United States Air Force, assisting our engineers on lander designs. He disapproves of humanity's current quest to reach the stars, feeling that we are not yet ready to face what may be out there. Despite this, his presence is recommended for more challenging terrain or mission-critical operations. With his help, civilian training times have been reduced to just three weeks, allowing every prospective member of the mission to handle over 80% of predicted galactic terrain types quoted by saying we're opening pandora's box just being out here god i hope we can close it again mm. personal equipment for repairing devices pet plant salvage kit sounds interesting corporate executive mm. mission planner let's 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 look at their profession so test pilot i think is pretty important archaeologist um, astronaut. Astronaut seems pretty important. Major hull repair. See, I only want to take two. Okay, so the astronaut and the test pilot are going to be two of our mission critical personnel. So we're going to take Kirsten Barrasso, astronaut. Few in human history have spent more time in space than Kristen Barrasso. Following her second tour aboard the ISS-2, IASA brought her on as a consultant during the ship construction phase. Her first-hand guidance on living in space for extended periods has been invaluable to the Daedalus engineering team. Daedalus. Daedalus engineering team. Sorry. As they prepare for both the test flight and the extended 16-man operations due to follow, a recent cancer diagnosis has disqualified her from consideration for those. <gasps> she has, however, been cleared for one last trip pending medical approval. Give me the stars instead of the skies any day. I'll take any chance to get back to where I belong. I, I think we're going to need an astronaut on this team. So we have an engineer, a botanist, theoretical physicist, Benoit's pills, huh, salvage kit, distress beacon, researcher, civilian observer, um... 
I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I can warrant that, and I don't really want to take the corporate executive, although the salvage kit seems interesting. The engineer, we could go all functional with this. Botanist, pet plant, that could be good. Or we have an archaeologist. Mm. No, let's go with the... I think we'll go with the engineer. Alessandra Lacovelli. Dr. Alessandra Lacovelli is the head of the IASA Engineering Corps, responsible for the Nosos Drive, the impulse engine that has made round trips to Mars a matter of days rather than weeks. Unlike most candidates, she has no desire to even set foot aboard the ship. Her recent concerns involving the jump drive's magnetic subspace navigation have, however, convinced IASA that if the worst does happen, the best she sh the best should be on hand to fix it. I'm sure it's fine. She's quoted as saying, I'm sure it's fine, really. We'd be looking at unprecedented gravitational forces. The odds are astronomical. But then, isn't everything in space? I don't know if I want somebody on the ship that doesn't want to be on it. Hmm. No, I think we're going to keep her on. And then... Mission planner with the distress beacon. Miriam originally joined IASA as an applied physicist working on semiconductor technologies that became part of our standard scanner array. Recently, however, she took the lead on our Spaces for Everybody campaign, fearing a future where only scientists still look up at the stars. She has spent much of her time trying to encourage more to join IASA's mission and to make it a place to share the dream. Quoted saying, Earth will always be our mother, but children must leave the nest. We will not all, we will not truly grow up until we prove we can make our own way in the universe. Sounds good. I think that's our team of four right there. We have an astronaut, a test pilot, an engineer, and a mission planner. That sounds like a good crew. Okay, the ship. Oh my, okay. The ISS Ulysses. Okay, so we've got three of them. And some different color schemes, apparently. Ulysses, whole strength, fuel tank, max jump range, exotic matter tank, maneuverability device slots, cargo space. So we've got the endurance with more cargo space, less jump range and maneuverability. And then we've got way less cargo space with incredible jump range and maneuverability with more device slots. Seems like the ISS Ulysses is the middle of the road. So that's what we're going to take for our first mission while we try to figure out what we're doing. Let's find a good color scheme. Ooh, I do like the teal. But we've got to go blue for the blue flame. That's what we've got to do. Okay. The lander. Okay, so we've got the Odyssey. Lander engine, lander drill, probe, and pilot ejector. The Serenity, the ISV Serenity. Which appears to have more cargo space, but better probe efficiency, better fuel tank. Okay, so it has more cargo space on the first two rows, but less overall? Yeah, a little less overall. And then the Pathfinder, much better fuel tank and probe efficiency. Device slots, less hull strength. I think we're going to need that hull strength. Drill efficiency low on the fuel tank, though. Let's go again with the middle of the road option. We're going to take the ISV Serenity. Enter a code to generate the galaxy. Oh my. Um. Share it with friends and compare the difference your crew and choices make to the journey. Interesting. Um, okay, then let's do. Um. Uh, okay, let's go with... Alright, I'm going to skip through this real quick. Oh, I guess it's not going to take me that long. I'm going to go with the blue flame. That's, um... That is my... That is me, after all. Alright. Difficulty Adventure Mode. Welcome to the galaxy. 
Keep pushing towards Earth as your ship degrades. Avoid dangerous planets if possible. Hunt for uncommon and rare resources. Rewind time if you die. N no. I don't necessarily want that. Rogue mode, only for experts. Alien drive, harder bargains. Enemies can jam your jump drive. Both ship and crew are more delicate. No more rewinding time. Story mode. Easier exploration of the galaxy. More forgiver land more forgiving landing missions. I kind of like the no more rewinding time. Death is death. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do adventure mode. We'll stick again with the middle of the of the of the road, and then, uh, from what I understand, the game actually plays relatively quickly. Um, and this is our first go, and I actually want to, you know, do okay. Um, we can always play again and, and mix things up. As I understand it, this game has quite a bit of replay value. Start from Earth, learn the basics. Start after the jump. Okay, so here's what we'll do then. We'll just do... Yeah, we'll do adventure mode. And we'll start from Earth. Sounds good. Let's be on our way. Okay. Now, the game recommended to play this with a controller. Said it was easier, but it's not necessary. Switch between lander piloting modes in the options. Ten, nine, okay. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, Get our final crew member to join us in orbit. Two, one, zero. All engine running. Thrust. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is, um... Woohoo! Easy does it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. This is going to definitely take a little bit of practice. Uh, let's not go into the drink right away, please. Let's... Let's, um... Let's get out into orbit. Okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, so a little bit... A little bit on the controls. That's going to... It's going to take a little bit of practice. All right. So let's dock up. Nice. We need to visit the Schiaparelli mining colony on Mars to collect the exotic matter for the jump. Fly to Mars marked on the minimap. Enter orbit and land. No, let's... Oh, okay, so yep, we're going to Mars. Um... Oh, okay, so I can control which way I'm facing, kind of, but I'm in this orbit. Alright, let's, let's leave. Use thrust to accelerate. Your ship retains momentum and is influenced by the gravity of celestial objects. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, to reduce speed, turn your ship against your trajectory and apply thrust. Oh my. Use the minimap and gravity wells for navigation to boost speed and to save fuel. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Left trigger is the autopilot, I missed that. Boost is similar to thrust, but much stronger. Using it quickly burns through your fuel. Boost is very helpful for fast turns. Thrust is better for delicate maneuvers, such as orbiting planets. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, well, let's use thrust to point your trajectory towards a planet. Again, use thrust to avoid a collision. To orbit, fly into this orbit indicator ring. You cannot go into orbit if you're traveling too fast. A red trajectory line will warn you of this. Decelerate if necessary. Okay, turn around, turn around. Okay, let's... 
No, 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 no. Let's let's come back. I've got to be pretty close, right? We just need to wrap wrap around. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Whoa. Steer your ship into the orbit ring. Decelerate if necessary. Stay within the orbit ring for a few seconds. Activate the autopilot to lock to the orbit ring with ease. You can still steer and activate thrust while autopilot is engaged. Okay, well, autopilot it then. Boom. Okay. All right. That wasn't... Uh, I was going to say that wasn't too bad, but that was that was a little... Um, a little crazier than I expected it to be. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, mission forecast harmless. Gravity low. Temperature arctic. No convection, no atmosphere, no hazards. Humans, energy readings. Perfect. Let's land. All right. And here we go. All right, okay. Coming in for a landing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down. Easy does it. Easy, easy. No, no, we, we overflew. Hold on, hold on. We overflew. Easy. Easy does it. I'm just going to lean over a little bit. Oh, my. There we go. Easy. Set down. Nice! Okay. Press Y to investigate location. That's what we're going to do. This is the communication hub for your ship. Ask about subjects, show items of interest, and engage in chit-chat. Got it. Big EM tank. Fuel for the jump drive. Complete refill. Schiaparelli flight control to lander. Welcome to Mars IASA. Got your freshly brewed antimatter right here. Ready for transfer. Transcom continue. Transfer complete. IASA, wait a sec. Yeah, I got another present for you. The boss wants you to test our new prototype shield generator while you're out there. Shouldn't have any trouble fitting it. And at least it'll protect you against energy bursts. Okay. Transcom continue. Safe travels. Bring us back a souvenir. Schiaparelli out. Location left. Database. Check your mission quest and diplomacy status. Access the galaxy map during star system travel. Okay. Need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into the star drive, and install the shield. Alright. Everybody seems to be doing good. Ship hull. Ship's hull can get... Uh, check the ship status. Devices that improve ship performance can be found during the journey. Shields protect from enemy fire, but not from collisions. Weapons can be used to fight enemies and mine resource asteroids. Take care of ship and module integrity. Okay. Fuel tank, 91%. That's not bad. Everything seems to be okay, and we have some empty slots. The lander status, yep, modules improve the journey. The lander is crucial, crucial to your mission success. Do not jeopardize it on high-risk missions without a good reason. Copy all. Abandon lander? No. Use the refinery to convert resources or patch the hull. Rare resources offer greater benefit. Life support systems depend on fuel. Keep an eye on your fuel reserves and convert gases to refill. EM is required for interstellar jumps. Convert minerals to refill. Metals can be used to patch up both ship and lander. The refinery is less efficient than finding or trading resources for fuel and repair kits. Select a container to blow out the resources. No, I don't want to. Assess crew status and select a lander pilot. Five ailments mean death. Use items in the lab or find assistance to cure them. Oh my. Okay. Investigate the items and artifacts collected on your journey. Crew members will often have different ideas what to do with an artifact. Their backgrounds may determine how likely they are to succeed. Oh. Most items are consumed on use. Choose your options carefully. First aid supplies, distress beacon... Okay, everything looks pretty good. Let's go back to the lander. Can we fuel it up? No, because we're not uh, we're not there. 
Hide. Doesn't look like we can do anything else with that. Um, okay, so how do we continue? Okay. All right, there we go. Um, all right, so I guess now we're going to make preparations for jump. We're going to practice flying a little bit first, maybe. It's not too bad. All right, let's get out of here. Let's prepare for jump. Okay. So we've got all of our test pilot stuff. Ship was refueled in orbit during lander mission. Excellent. That's good. Need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into the star drive, and install the shield. Okay, so let's install the shield here, right? No. Lander. Select gas from the cargo containers to refuel the ship. EM refinery. Select a mineral from the cargo containers to refuel the jump drive tank. I'd rather lose this ship than be captured after using this distress beacon. Oh my. Wow. Already. People are already upset. Kristen is, uh, Kirsten is the lander pilot. Do I want my engineer? No. I want my test pilot to be the lander pilot. Alright. Experimental IASA shielding. Oh, yeah, I think I can get this working. Give it to your friendly neighborhood grease monkey. I can handle that. I confess my engineering skills are a little rusty. Um, hold on. Kirsten Barrasso is the astronaut. Alessandra Lacovelli is the engineer. Right, 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 right. So she's going to get it. There, this will work with our ship now. Excellent. Give it to me, I'll fill the tank. No problem, give me the tank. Sure, I could do with the exercise. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Ugh, no. We'll, uh, we'll give it to the astronaut. That should be enough fuel for three jumps. Very nice. Okay. Nobody needs any treatment. <laughs> No. Nothing to repair. Okay. All right. Jump to Alpha Centauri. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Hold thrust and boost to activate the jump drive. Okay. Whoa, here we go. All right. Um... We did it. Okay. It's time to go to Alpha Centauri. Nice. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, yeah. What the heck? See, you're not supposed to travel faster than light. Uh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. Distance to Earth. Whoa. What the heck? Um. Uh. I'm pretty sure Alpha Centauri is not that many parsecs away. Holy crud. Malcolm Winter's got a concussion. Space folder malfunction. Where are we? This isn't Alpha Centauri. Sensors indicate something large in the debris field is trapping us here. Follow the white arrow to find the jamming signal. What? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, time to take care of a few things. Oh, he's got a concussion. Should I use my... <sighs> okay, let's... No, we need... He's our lander guy. We need to have him taken care of. 
Uh, but do I use that? No. Oh, man. Okay. Switch between ship piloting modes in the options. No, this is okay. Let's, let's avoid the debris. Goodness. Let's please avoid the debris. What the heck? What is going on here? Oh, oh no, we got a collision. Hold on. Get out of the way. Woo -hoo -hoo. Got that space debris collision. What the heck is this? Hold A and right and right trigger to leave. No, hold on. We're supposed to We're supposed to go in here? This is Malcolm. Oh boy, this thing's a sight to see. You receiving me? Yes. Copy that. Beginning exploration of the sphere. Everything's built to a much bigger than human scale. Much of it's rusted over. Giant glass capacitors crackle with trapped lightning. No sign of life or presence. Sweet sensors say air is ozone, nitrogen, a few unidentifieds, and... Okay, found a door. Power still seems to be on. Looks like it's expecting some kind of signal. What signal should we send? Bang equals question mark tilde. Slash ampersand percentage. Not sure. Goodness. Let's go with that. There's a computer terminal here translating everything I say into symbols. It looks like it might be compatible with our technology. Someone come and collect it and then try to and send a signal to me. Oh, are we going to really plug this thing into our computer? What? I... Uh, are we... Um, I got a bad feeling about this. No, I've... Oh, really? Just translating everything I say into symbols. It looks like it might be compatible with our technology. All right, we're going to install it. Son of a gun. We're going to install it. Have you installed it? Send the code. The door is curling open like a flower made of aluminum, walking through it, endless tunnels leading in every direction, but soft blue lights are heading to some kind of control center. There's a cradle in the middle of the room. Attached to the ceiling by wires, there's something inside it. A glowing cylinder. I can't explain it, but it calls to me. Oh, my. Keystone, our souvenir from the sphere. Continue. Should be able to free it with this plasma torch. Got it. Wait, the hum in the air is gone. The sphere is shutting down around me. Returning to the ship while I can. The sphere's hold on us is gone. We can leave the space graveyard and the system whenever we like. Okay, let's go into the ship for a second. So we've got this keystone. No, nobody has any actions for it. Oh, we should... It's weird, I think I can hear it singing. Clark's Law, this truly is indistinguishable from magic. Okay, so nobody can do anything with it. Hold A and right trigger to leave. Aren't I going to run into debris if I do that? Oh, I guess not. Okay, we're leaving. Sounds good to me. Ugh, but where are we is the question. Ugh, okay, well, this is how it starts. Um, mining, repairing, refueling. Our scanners show valuable resources nearby on that nearby planet. We can harvest them and use them to fix dam fix damage and refuel both our fuel and EM takes. Tanks. Drill for metals on the nearby planet. Scoop gas on the nearby planet. On the resource screen, use the metal to repair to gas to refuel. Um, we're kind of heading for this planet here. Uh, let's get let's give it some thrust. We're going to need to follow a follow a orbit here. Okay, we need to slow down our speed. There we go. Autopilot engaged. All right, we're in orbit. Mission forecast harmless. Surface type rock, gravity average, subarctic, light convection, moderate atmosphere, no hazards, biotope life forms. We got phosphates, magnesium, and helium. Malcolm Winters has a concussion. I think 
we're gonna we're gonna give him the best chance moving forward. We're gonna heal that concussion. Concussion healed. Okay. All right. Concussion is healed. Good. All right. Let's um. No. 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 We're we're landing. Hold on. Go back into orbit. Land. Okay. Hit the wrong button. All right. Lander deployed. All right, here we go. All right, no, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too far, too far. Thrust, thrust! <gasps> oh. oh, we did not. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh. Okay, stop. Let's, let's, let's get upright. Whoa. Okay. Let's head over here. Wow, that terrain really snuck up on me. We'll do better. We'll do better. All right, let's go land over here. We've got something over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. Easy. Hold on. Hold on. Just a little hop. Okay, drill. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. We're in the red. I don't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I guess we hit a gas pocket. I just want to get one more if I could. Oh, we're using up our fuel. <gasps> um, okay, hold on. Let's, let's go while we still have fuel. Let's go get some gas. We're going to pick up speed. Okay, let's stop, stop. Stop, slow down. Easy does it, we're just gonna coast in. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're using up that fuel. We need this gas here, yep. All right, that's right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa, it looks like there's a storm coming in or something, hold on. We gotta see what this is. What the heck is this? Stop, stop. Oh, we're using up so much fuel. Stop, stop. Ugh. Okay, reverse thrusters. Yep, we. I know we have a fuel warning. Let's visit this location here. This ancient forest has been dead for a long time. The wood is so rotten. I can push my hand through any of these trees. It comes back covered with what looks like tar. Not a single bug or leaf or shoot to be seen. Oh, see, this is why you want other crew members. I don't know if a test pilot's going to be qualified for this. Um, no, explore it. I've discovered an interesting looking plant. Scanner gives it the scientific name Malva amuramensis, bringing in a sample. Oh, really, an alien plant? No. Okay, take it. Heading back to the look. Uh, heading back to the lander. Okay, we need to go straight up and get out of here now. Yep. Fuel warning. I know. I know. We're going. We're heading back. All right. Ooh. Okay. That was um. That was kind of close. Kind of close. Okay. Let's dock and refuel. All right, lander hull got damaged a little bit. Let's go to the ship. Okay, nobody got hurt though. Um, biological sample, eat. Ugh, we can, we can jury rig a barbecue in the engine, anything but protein mash. It is not protein mash. It will be delicious. Wouldn't mind a quick snack. How intriguing. Everybody just wants to eat this friggin' plant? Should have brought the botanist. Oh, I should have. I knew I should have brought that botanist, too. So far, this mission planner is a whole lot of nothing. Ugh, okay. Well, live and learn. Um, 
Resources. Uh, let's refuel the lander. Lander hull can get damaged by impact, heat, lightning, and earthquakes. Use metals or help or find help to repair it. I think we have major lander repair. Yeah. The lander could use a tune-up. Mm, I can patch things up until we find a better way. No, the test pilot is the is the lander repair person. I've repaired some of the damage to our lander. 100%. Good deal. Um, select gas from the cargo containers. Finery and repair bench are working. Mineral from the cargo containers to refuel the jump drive tank. Okay, I'm guessing we refueled. Okay, um... Do we need... Hold on. Exotic matter tank. Shows the number of possible jumps. Use minerals, fly near suns, or find help to refuel. Yikes. Mission day 11. Open the galaxy view. This is what I'm looking for. Gamma Trianguli. Oh my goodness. Wow. Boy, we just really shot out there, didn't we? Okay. Alright, well we're going to need to start making some progress. Says we can make three jumps. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we need to refill the jump drive yet. But, looking at the time, that's where we're going to wrap up the episode. I think that's a pretty logical stopping point while we're orbiting Uhaira. So this has been The Long Journey Home, Episode 1. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. As always, I've definitely had a good time playing. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you're uh, liking this new game, if you'd like to see more of it, what your thoughts are, and come back next time as we venture out and make our first jump to another planet on that long journey home. But until next time, take care. <laughs>